Turning now to the latest in the indictment of Roger Stone, the president's longtime advisor, speaking out. In fact, he's live in Fort Lauderdale right now. Yeah, he just finished up an interview with George Stephanopoulos, and our own Madeline Wright managed to uh, get him as he was exiting his limousine. Madeline, let's go right to you with this live interview. Right. Actually, we have Roger Stone here right now, and he's going to tell us a few things. What did you think about that Saturday night live parody of you the well, other day? I, I didn't think it was very funny. Um, first of all, I don't act like that. I didn't look like that. Um, the dress was uh, similar to me. My books are very good in their New York Times bestsellers. The censorship on Facebook, the censorship on Infowars has made it more difficult to sell them. Um, but I've now been depicted on Family Guy. Uh, I've been depicted on Saturday Night Live. You know, there are four uh, phases of fame. Who is Roger Stone? Get me Roger Stone. Get me a Roger Stone type. Who is Roger Stone? I guess I'm in phase two at the moment. And if you were convicted of your charges, do you think the president would pardon you? Uh, I don't answer hypothetical questions. A career of 50 years in American politics taught me that long ago. I have not asked the president for a pardon. I have never discussed a pardon with anyone in his administration or the president himself. I expect to be uh, acquitted and vindicated, so it is a moot question. And if you could talk to Robert Mueller right now, what would you say to him? I would say to him, um, Mr. Comey, Mr. Clapper, Mr. Brennan, Mr. McCabe, and Hillary Clinton herself uh, all lied under oath before the Congress. Why are they not being prosecuted? I did not lie before the Congress. Any error I made would be an honest mistake of memory. It would be without intent. It would be immaterial and inconsequential. I would also say, where's the Russian collusion? Where's the WikiLeaks collaboration? Where is the conspiracy? I'm accused of process crimes, nonviolent process crimes. Uh, I have no previous criminal record. I own no firearms. Uh, my passport has expired, uh, and I've been under investigation for two years. I'm not a flight risk. The judge released me on bond on my signature. I have uh, destroyed no evidence. Uh, why would I destroy it now? I've had it for two years. Um, there was no reason to send a, a SWAT team uh, with assault rifles drawn surround my house uh, when the, all they had to do was contact my attorneys, and I would have been more than happy uh, to surrender. So that show of force, which cost the American taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars, was designed to depict me as public enemy number one, like the OG. Uh, I'm not El Chapo, but they sent more men after bin Laden. Uh, it, it's a Gestapo tactic. Uh, it really reeks. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Stone. Thank you. And Roger Stone, he is facing we'll seven federal charges here. right now. Yeah. He is charged with making false statements to Congress. He is also charged with witness tampering. And he promises that he will plead not guilty to all those charges during his arraignment Tuesday in Washington, D.C. FBI agents conducted a pre-dawn raid at his house on Friday morning. He heard, he said just now that he did not think that was necessary. It was overkill. And again, he promises that he will plead not guilty, but here's more about what he has to say about those charges. Hi, Roger, I'm Madeline Wright, Local 10. Where are you off to? Roger Stone emerged from his Fort Lauderdale house Sunday morning, defiant in the face of seven federal charges, including five counts of making false statements, one count of obstructing an official proceeding, and one count of witness tampering. Now that you've been home for a few days, do you know if the FBI took anything from your house? Uh, I can't comment on any of that. Let me just say I look forward to total and complete vindication. The informal advisor to President Trump posted on Instagram Saturday this doctored image of special counsel Robert Mueller dressed as a waiter and holding an empty bun on a silver platter. The caption reads, here's what Mueller has on me. Hashtag nothing burger. The FBI arrested the self-described dirty trickster during a dramatic pre-dawn raid at his house Friday. It's an effort to intimidate me, but I am not intimidated. The allegation that two campaign officials instructed me uh, or, uh, or inquired of me about WikiLeaks is false. 
The indictment against Stone alleges that the 66-year-old was the middleman between Donald Trump's presidential campaign and WikiLeaks, which had damaging information on Trump's opponent, Hillary Clinton. Prosecutors say Stone lied about it to the House Intelligence Committee and told a witness to lie about it, too. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi tweeted Saturday, Roger Stone's indictment makes it clear there was a deliberate, coordinated effort by top Trump campaign officials to subvert the will of the American people during the 2016 election. Stone responded on Instagram, Hey Nancy, actually my indictment proves nothing of the kind, since none of it has been proven in a court of law, and much of it is incorrect, out of context, or just false. And President Donald Trump is also coming to Stone's defense. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Madeline Wright, Local 10 News. All right, Matt.